With as popular as Windlader has been lately, it can still be a struggle to load up Steam on Android. Or even just trying to play games from your Steam library on your mobile device. But there's a new application going around that offers a user-friendly way to play DRM free games from your Steam account. And it will still be using Windlater as the backend. It's called Pluvia, and it really can be as simple as sideloading the APK file, logging in to your Steam account, scrolling through your library, finding a game that you want to download and install, and then tapping on that install button. We can do this by first downloading the APK file for the Pluvia application. We're downloading this from the GitHub page of Oxter's 168 account, as it's currently advised to not sideload this from any third-party developers as of right now. So once we go to this page, we dive into the releases page, and grab the universal APK file. Download that to our device and it will take a little bit of time since it is going to be a couple hundred megabytes. Once it has been downloaded we can then open it up and install it like you would sideload any other APK file. If you need any help in this area just let me know down in the comment section below. You will see that Google Play Protect brings up an alert, but we can tap on the More Details page and then tap on Install anyway. After you have installed that APK file, you'll find the icon either within your home screen or down in your application drawer. So go ahead and open it up and you're going to immediately be met with a login page. This application does have its rough edges from time to time and I look at this as one of them. So this is where you actually log into your Steam account and not a separate account for Pluvia. If you're worried about typing in your username and password you'll see that there is a QR code sign in right here. Once you tap on this, it will display a QR code on the screen and then you can load up the mobile Steam application either on a different phone or maybe a tablet. You can then tap on the shield icon in the bottom tab area and then show that QR code to the Pluvia application. With that done, you will see the Pluvia app begin to connect to your Steam account and then you'll see all of your games begin to populate in the screen here. It can take some time to get a full list, so be patient and they will all eventually show up. Now, one thing that's important to point out is Pluvia is in its early stages right now. Same as Windlater for that matter. So there are going to be a number of games that either outright refuse to work or they have some random issues from time to time. But it really is as easy as finding a game in this list, making sure it is DRM free, and tapping on that install button. Proceed, and then let Pluvia download the game and install it directly on your Android device. If the game works right out of the box, all you have to do is tap on that play button and let Pluvia use Windlater as the backend to load up your Steam PC game on Android. Naturally, the hardware in your phone is going to need to be able to handle the graphics and the processing power required to emulate that game. But the good news is, We've been seeing a lot of 
very popular PC titles being played flawlessly on current and even a few generations back Android hardware. And you'll find that some games do just load up just like that. However, there will be a number that have issues that you will need to figure out what the problem is. Just remember, this will only work for DRM-free games available on Steam right now. This may end up changing in the future as the app evolves and as when later matures as well. But as of this moment, there are still a lot of DRM-free games on the platform. You just need to check and see what's available. I'll be sure to include a link to a wiki page that lists which games on Steam do not have DRM restrictions. That way, you get an idea of what may and may not be available to load with Pluvia. I'm also reading that many of these games do not work with the default container setting, so keep that in mind when you come across a game that refuses to boot properly. You may just end up needing to tinker with the settings for that container before it will end up loading up. I am very curious to hear what you all think about the Pluvia application. I have only just recently learned about it, so I'm going to need some time to figure out what does and does not work. But I think it could be a great way to make the whole win later experience much, much more user friendly especially if we can get a website up for the community to submit their container settings for specific games. So please, do not forget to like this video while also subscribing to the channel for more Android content like this.